Once you've plugged in your head to its correct spot on the canvas, check to see that both of your RTDs are reading correctly. If they are not reading correctly, if something is wrong with the wiring or the board, and that will need to be corrected. You notice that the RTDs are connected and reading correctly. You will come over to the 12 volt connector, find your 12 volt connector and connect it to the male end of the 12 volt connector that is going to your amp and volt reader. Once these are connected, go over to your repetrel and activate the heating or cooling. You can set your heating or cooling by using either the minus or plus button and you'll see the number under the HC bed changing. I'll change this to let's say negative five degrees to show cooling. Once you power on, you will see your amps go up to about 1.2, 1.3 in that area. It's a safe range. And then you will come over to Repetrel and you should see with the top side decreasing and the bottom side increasing in heat. As you see, the 20 is decreasing. Going down to 19 and so on and so forth. While it is cooling, on the back of this board, there are three LEDs and the top LED and bottom LED should be activated. If they are not activated, something with the programming or wiring is most likely wrong. And for heating, use the bottom two buttons to change your temperature and then activate it. Again, be sure your amps are in a safe range and then come over to rip a trail. You should now see the top temperature increasing, which means it is heating. And if you come over to the back of this board, you will now see the bottom two LEDs lit up with the middle one meeting heating and the top one meeting cooling, as I'd showed while it was cooling. Once you have verified that heating, cooling, and temperature reading on the head has been working, then grab it a bucket with a water pump in order to test the syringe head and then unplug your import coming from the pump and your export coming from the syringe head back into the bucket in order to test the temperature change of the water plug in the pump and be sure there are no leaks with your head and if you see that there are no leaks and that there is a continuous smooth flow coming from your exit. Come back to Repetrel and activate your syringe head on either heating or cooling in order to test the water going through. As you see, it's going up towards 30. You can see on the back of the board again that the bottom two LEDs are lit up because it is heating right now. If I change to cooling, now that it is cooling on the back, the bottom and top LEDs are lit up.